this moment in the United States, 205 million people use a cell phone. Since people upgrade or replace their phones, there are also 650 million retired phones. Ever wonder what happens to retired cell phones and chargers? When people throw them in the trash, they eventually end up in the local municipal landfill. Cell phones and chargers contain toxic materials such as lead, mercury, and cadmium, which can end up in our drinking water and food sources. How Stuff Works recently visited Collective Good, a mobile phone recycling center, to find out how old cell phones can be used to make new ones. Cell phones have valuable materials inside, such as gold, silver, and platinum. The most valuable material is gold, which is used in the phone circuit boards. Chargers contain copper, which is less valuable, but is still reusable. By today's method of strip mining, collecting one clean ounce of gold generates 79 tons of toxic waste. That's the equivalent of 35 cars stacked on top of each other. But if you recycle one phone, you can reclaim all the metals you need for the manufacture of a new one. Another way to recycle cell phones is by taking the working parts of otherwise broken phones and combining those parts together with the usable parts from other phones to create one complete working phone. These rebuilt phones can then be sent back into circulation without ever needing newly manufactured parts.